Hey, good morning. It's the start of a new week. And uh, this morning I'm doing the worst job ever, at least in my opinion. And <laughs> I don't know, I'll show the, I don't know if you can see that or not, but I'm shoeing horses this morning. Oh my heck, <laughs> I'm not a farrier. Um, I know just enough to put shoes on a horse and that's all I wanna know, to be honest with you. Um, shoeing horses is hard, man, it's hard work. And uh, so anyway, I'm kind of sweating and cussing and all pooped out this morning already. <laughs> but Jaden, uh, he's headed down the winter range hauling water. And so I had to stay home and put shoes on horses. Uh, most of the time we do get a farrier that comes and does this, but sometimes uh, I do it because I can't get a hold of the farrier or we need the horses shoed. Uh, but anytime I can get out of it, let me tell you, I'm getting out of it. So anyway, that's what I'm doing this morning. And I'm not going to film very much of it because... Um, you'll just hear a lot of like swearing and cussing and heavy breathing that'll be about it <laughs> so anyway we got quite a bit going on this week just lots of little things kind of odds and ends and uh so anyway i hope you enjoy the video Okay, I've got this ready for a tire trough. We've got to do a few plumbing odds and ends and kind of get a new box and a few things put in here, but got that all taken out, ready to go. Okay, we've got one more that we're gonna get ready to put a bigger tire trough on in a little different pasture. I'll just show you what this is like real quick. Just time to upgrade. Okay, so we're gonna do the same thing to this one. Uh, get this trough cleared out of here and level this out and get it ready for a new trough. Okay, got that one done too. Kinda of hard because this wind is just whipping. And I know it's super noisy in this, so I'll just walk down there and show you kind of what we did. Just got it a little bit leveled out so we can put this tire trough, but we have to get the trough here before we can really get it level. But this is what it looks like. It comes out of a float box right here. Hey, good morning. It is a new day. And we didn't film very much yesterday. It was a really stormy, kind of blustery day. The wind was blowing 30 miles an hour and we were getting a little snowstorm had come in and it'd blow out anyway. It just wasn't good for filming, but we, we kind of got that area fixed up where we were gonna put those water troughs and we were kind of ready to go on those. So now we just gotta get the water tanks out there or troughs. What they are is they're a big half tire uh, trough that has been cut in half and they make really good water troughs, and so that's what we're going to put there. Uh, today, Jaden and I are out uh, down on that lower winter range, and we are looking for a couple of cows that we know are here that are old and who, that uh, I think have calved, maybe not, um, but they're they're going to have a rough time once they calve, and so we're going to take them into town today. And I'll turn the camera around and show you kind of what we've got set up here. Okay, so we're kind of using this pup and the truck and some panels. We're going to push these cows right in between there, hopefully, and load them. That's going to be the plan. So that's kind of how we usually set things up a little bit um, to load cows out here. We're, I don't know, three or four miles from a corral, so just better to 
uh, use these panels and we don't have to drive them quite so far. So we're gonna start looking around and start looking at these cows. Okay, so we're riding along here, kind of went off in a little draw and came up on this. No idea what it is, probably parts of an old drill rig or something, I don't know. But out here in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> kind of crazy. So it's not Indian ruins today, it's, it's more modern stuff that we're finding. Oh, that's really cool. So they did a lot of drilling in this country back in the 50s and 60s and uh, didn't hit any oil. They sure tried, but they didn't hit any oil. But they drilled lots of holes and uh, anyway, so there's places like this I think that are abandoned all over there. We see these old drill holes like that one um, out here quite often, but no oil in this country. Starting to see a few cows here. Got a little bunch of them up here. They look okay. I mean, you can definitely tell that they're in winter and not on green grass, but they're doing all right. Oh, here's one of the cows we want to look at right here. This black cow with the white face and a black ring around her eye looking at us. We want to look at her. So this cow is a 10-year-old cow, and I think this is her calf right here. I think, I'm not sure. I think she's got a calf somewhere, but she doesn't look as bad as I thought she was going to. She's definitely a little bit old, but we're just going to have to keep our eye on her a little bit and make sure she stays okay. But she doesn't look too bad. Okay, we're gonna go keep looking through cows. There's a few more over here on the other side of this wash. Okay, here's a pretty good group of cows. And I think one of the cows we want to look at is in this bunch. Um, we're gonna ride, I think she's right up here in the middle of this bunch. Anyway, we're gonna see if we can sneak in here without disturbing them and chasing them all, all over and kind of take a look at her. Got quite a few calves hitting the ground. Kind of exciting. Fun time of year to see these new babies running around here. Yeah, it's this red brockle faced cow right here in front of me. She's one we want to look at pretty close. red one right next to her is pretty thin too but she has a calf and so that's kind of why she's thin and this other one does not have a calf yet and when she calves she is going to really struggle so i think we're going to see if we can sort her out and take her home okay we're kind of getting her sorted off here she doesn't really want to leave the bunch too bad but <laughs> we will get her over here Get her down where she's supposed to be, down the country, over here to the trailer.
All right, just looking at a few more cows. These cows all look like they're doing fine. Like I say, definitely look like they've wintered, but uh, doing okay. Okay, and here's a little young cow. Uh, I think she's three years old and she does not look good. She's struggling pretty hard. And the calf is struggling a little bit too. So we're gonna see if we can take her, her in too. She needs a little bit of help. Pretty thin. So I'm gonna take her over and get her with this red cow that Jaden has and we'll try to put them both in at the same time. Okay, we got the cows, but we did not get the calf. So we gotta go get the calf. <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> got a little bit wild there for a minute. The cows ran pretty hard, so I had to turn the video off. Sorry about that. Okay, finally got him on the end of the rope, a little fast little bugger. <laughs> have Jaden grab him, we'll put him in the trailer now. There we go. Okay, it took a minute, but we got him. <laughs> okay, it's time to give you our evaluation on this new horse we got. Um, we've had him for about three weeks, and we have ridden him about eight days in the last three weeks, which is, is quite a bit. Um, so we kind of got a good idea for what he is and how he's going to be. Um, and the first thing I better tell you is we did come up with a name for him. And we're going to call him Crow. Now, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> That's Trayson's. Trayson came up with that. So I'm blaming that on Trayson. But he just thinks Crow fits him. So that's what we're going to call him. <laughs> this horse is a five-year-old. He came from a guy who ranches and uh, they used him quite a bit on the ranch. Um, I don't know much beyond that on his history as far as like his breeding and things like that. We know from the guy that we got him from said that he came off of a, a different ranch that went out of business, uh, kind of a bankrupt bankruptcy sale thing and they sold all of their horses and and he got this horse in a in that kind of a sale so that's kind of what we know about him uh, he has been pretty darn good pretty gentle and he's settled right into doing the work and when i say we put eight days on him i mean those are eight full days like big days uh, we put big days on him and when we got him he was a little bit off of his feed and uh, he's still a little bit off of his feed. We're feeding him a lot, but when you use a horse as much as we use them, it's really hard for him to put on any weight. So anyway, um, but what we've learned about him is one, we had to figure out what he was used to or what we could do with his mouth. 
If you remember in some of our first videos, he uh, our first videos of this horse, he was chewing that bit a lot and was, we could just tell like, okay, a bit is not his thing right now. And we tried a snaffle bit and we tried some other bits on him and he just, just wasn't there. So we put him back in a bozel and a hackmore and he calmed right down um, once we put put him back in that. So we're riding him in a type of hackamore right now. That's a pretty easy kind of a hackamore and he just, he relaxed and he's doing great in that. And so we'll transition him to the bit uh, later on. But my guess is, is he probably hadn't had a bit in his mouth very much, just the way he acted. Um, definitely was trying to get used to it. So that's what we're doing with him. He reigns pretty decent. Uh, he's pretty quiet for the most part. Like when you're handling him like this, uh, when we're saddling him and and all that kind of stuff, he's pretty quiet, been really nice. And, and uh, I think he's just gonna be a really nice horse. I've put shoes on him and he was pretty decent with his feet. Not the best, but not bad either. Um, but he, I think he's just gonna be pretty nice. We're gonna get some weight on him and we're gonna keep using him and he's gonna slick off and he's gonna look pretty good. And so we're kind of encouraged about him. But like I say, he's not spooky or jumpy or bucky or anything like that. And so that's been great. Anyway, that's, uh, that's our evaluation on the horse and we're gonna ride him tomorrow. And so you'll be able to see him again. Um, and tomorrow we have got a pretty big push that we've got to do in some really awesome country. And we're kind of looking forward to that. So we'll tell you more about that tomorrow. Anyway, that's uh, Crow. Hey, good morning. Well, we are headed out on a big point out here that we call West Bollies to move cows down the country where we put that supplement. Jaden and I put some supplement out a couple of weeks ago when it was snowing. We're gonna push some more cows down in that area. It's gonna be a big day and a long ride and we've got Trayson and Jaden and Taryn and Quinn and Kent here. So we're kind of planning on an all day or down in here, but it ought to be good. So we've got a pretty long ride before we even get to the cows. Oh, maybe four miles. And then once we pick, start picking cows up, we're gonna push them another four miles. So be close to a 20 mile day probably. It ought to be fun. Nice day today. breezy today. Try not to talk too much. <laughs> but we're down here now to where we're going to start to pick up cows and start pushing them down on that point. And we're just starting to see a few cows right through here. Right, picking up quite a good group of cows right here. look like they're all pinned back got a cow over there belongs to the neighbors that are running with us in here and her ears are like they're stuck to her head <laughs> must have uh, got them frozen when she was young or something <laughs> I'll show you in a minute it look kind of funny <laughs> anyway that's her that Kind of white face when she's behind a tree right now, but I'll get over there where you can see her a little bit better. Got lots of babies hitting the ground, and calves look good, and cows look good. They've done good in here. Yeah, she's this white, white faced cow right there. No ears. Weird. Okay, you can kind of see where we're going. It's way out there, right there. You can kind of see it's uh, got 
it opens up got pretty good grass that's where we're taking these cows all right Tristan is riding crow today and I think he's kind of liking him. Now he kind of looks like a crow, so we decided to call him Crow. But uh, now he's doing good. We took the bit out of his mouth and put him back in a hack, hack more. So he seemed to calm down and do a lot better. So I think that was the ticket, but he's got a job now, so it's good. Yeah, he's uh, on the payroll. So <laughs> he's figuring life out. Pretty awesome. Oh, i got one little calf here that I don't think is going to make it. We haven't gone very far and the calf's already kind of played out. You can see. Got his mouth open and I think we're going to leave that one here. We'll go just right on by. Well, dude isn't going to make it. Sometimes when uh, the drives are long and these kids get bored, I shouldn't call them kids, but these guys get bored. They got breakaway ropes and they <laughs> they're practicing their roping skills all the way down here. trying to escape on us. We've got to get her back over here. <laughs> Okay, we're just starting back and Taryn, luckiest shed finder in the universe, found a nice little shed.
<laughs> okay, well now we got the long ride back. And uh, it's gonna take us a couple hours at least to ride back out of here, but good day. And uh, cows are happy. So thanks for watching, see you next week.